our time in Turkey was not in the original itinerary and plan for our anniversary trip in Europe, but we found a great flight deal from San Francisco to Naples, Italy that just happened to have a long layover in Istanbul. We flew Turkish Airlines, and even though we were flying as cheap as possible in the very back of the plane, we were extremely comfortable. The food was delicious. We got these little goodie bags that made us feel like we were in first class living in luxury. I think this is by far my favorite airline I've ever flown. Turns out, Turkish Airlines tries to route a lot of their flights through Istanbul for long layover options to boost tourism in Turkey. They even pay for your transportation to and from the airport, they pay for a nice three or four star hotel, and they offer free tours of Istanbul. We didn't know about this when we had originally booked, but we learned all about it when we were on the plane and decided to take full advantage of it when we landed. We booked our Airbnb experience with Ahmed, and this is something we love to do in a new city. We love to do locally guided food tours so we can get a real feel for a city from a local's perspective. We started in the Egyptian Bazaar, which is the most well-known covered shopping complex in all of Istanbul, and it's mostly known for selling spices. We were able to try different teas, spices, and Turkish delights. The one you were having, mulberry, as I said, apple, eucalyptus with green tea and lemon peels. You were having mango tea with lavender and saffron. Turkish delights are considered candy, and they come in all sorts of flavors, shapes, and sizes. Pistachio is a really prominent flavor in Istanbul. They're the third largest producer of pistachios in the entire world. So we had a lot of that in our Turkish delights, and we even tried the famous Turkish delights from the Chronicles of Narnia movie. And apparently they're not as popular as the pistachio ones, but they were still delicious and nostalgic. Something we call shredded loaf that we use for desserts. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> not like that. No, not that. Pomegranate? This is give it a gum. try. Five and a half. I want to try. You know, it's, it is uh, room in Greece. One of the Greek islands that used to be Turkish. Give you this. You take a bite. Eat the leaf? You eat the leaf. I don't believe it. Word. Eat the leaf. Like a full packs of uh, powder, Stevie. And a kilo is 2.2 pounds for those cups. And they do. Istanbul has a really neat culture. Half the city is in Asia and the other half is in Europe. It's a city that occupies two continents. It's where these two cultures really collide. Mediterranean food is showcased with fresh and wonderful ingredients, yet the spices of Asia are so prevalent and add incredible flavor to their cuisine. It's really a special place and is some of the best food I've ever had. First place where we're gonna have our main meal. Okay. After this place, we're gonna go try and look. Here we had the best meal that we honestly could not have found if we didn't have a local guide taking us to the back alleys for the best and famous local hot spots. I'm still dreaming of the soup to this day. We started with the soup and then we had these croquettes that we squeezed lemon on. We cleansed the palate with a yogurt and water combination drink. And then we had lamb and chicken kebabs to top it off. Now you open it up. Because even, even some Turkish people, when they see the lemon, they just squeeze on it. Okay. But if you do it, the juice doesn't make it sad. Yeah. Yeah. Now pick up the lemon, and the more you eat, you will keep squeezing the lemon, which will, which is the pet rep. I can guarantee that when Turks see an American guy eating a kippa like this, which makes it feel like eating. What happens if you, you taste that meat more? What nation or you? Your ice cream sort of taste. It is not that. So this thing, it is called Ayran, which is basically water down your. You take yogurt, salt, water, shake or stir it in a jug and drink. Because when we eat in the fatty, the flavorful, the food is about to drink. There are two kebabs, lamb and chicken. 
or the lamb? They think lamb fed. Yes. Did you put any crystal? Yeah. Okay. Did you put something else? I did. Okay. I just am getting cold, so I made okay. a small one. Okay. 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 Yeah, me too. I made a mini one. Okay. Eat myself. We had a really fun group of people on this tour with us. I feel like that's the case every time we do one of these, but it's kind of the best part of these Airbnb experiences is how they bring people together. We were able to see a recognizable filming location from one of the James Bond movies, which happens to be one of my favorite movie series of all time, so I loved that. We learned that Daniel Craig came to this cart and bought roasted chestnuts from this man every morning. Topped off the night with literally the best meat I've ever had in my life, the slow roasted lamb was phenomenal and is worth a trip to Istanbul just in itself. Now we're off. Escape from Turkey.